Welcome back everyone. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to add dynamic arrows to your Power BI reports so your dashboards instantly show trends like growth or decline with visual cues that pop. By the end of this video, you'll know several proven methods to display up, down, or flat arrows tied to a measure value, such as sales growth or variance, just like top analysts do to make their KPIs easy to spot at a glance. Let's dive right in. The first and fastest way to show these dynamic arrows is by using Unicode symbols directly inside a DAX measure. Imagine you want your report to show a green up arrow for positive change, a red down arrow for negative, and a gray dash if things are flat. Here's the simple trick. You'll create a new DAX measure using the switch function. Inside your DAX formula, you check your measure, for example, sales growth, and output a symbol based on the result. So if the value's above zero, you get, if it's below zero, you get, and when it's zero or neutral, you display heavy minus sign. This works great whether you're tracking month over month changes or year to date variances. Once you've set up that measure, you can drop it into any table, matrix, or even card visual. But to really nail the look, use conditional formatting for font colors. You can set it so positive arrows turn green, negative ones red, and neutral stays gray. That way, your users won't have to squint. They'll know in seconds if things are going well, need attention, or are holding steady. This step might take a few moments as you pick your colors, but it's worth it for that instant visual impact. Now, if you prefer not to mess with DAX formulas and want something even easier, Power Buy's built-in icon formatting is a fantastic choice. Start by putting your measure, say, sales growth percent into a table or matrix, then just right-click the column, go to conditional formatting, and choose icons. Here you can set simple rules. If the value is greater than zero, show an up arrow. If it's less than zero, show a down arrow. And if it's exactly zero, display a dash. You can also assign colors, green for up, red for down, gray for flat, so the pattern's clear. It takes just a few clicks and you don't even need to edit your DAX. The only catch, this method works inside tables or matrices, but not on standalone cards or custom visuals. If you're itching for even more flexibility, like having styled arrows inside cards or KPI visuals, here's a more advanced tip. You can use SVG images rendered straight from DAX. This method does involve a bit of code, but stick with me. You'll create a measure that generates an SVG image URL based on your value. When growth is positive, the measure outputs a green upward arrow. If it's negative, you get a red downward arrow. If it's neutral, you see a gray dash. Place this measure in your table or matrix, then set the data category to image URL. Power BI will read the SVG code and display actual arrow graphics. This really lets you fine-tune the design and ensures your visuals look consistent in more places, not just tables, but cards too. Lastly, don't forget that Power BI's built-in KPI visual can automatically handle trend arrows when you compare your current result to a target. Just add the KPI visual, set up your indicator and target measures along with a date field for trend, and Power BI smartly shows whether you're on track, making progress or sliding backward, no extra coding required. So here's my quick advice. Use conditional icon formatting for simple tables and matrices, but for cards and more customized visuals, go with Unicode arrows or the SVG image trick to get perfect control over the look and feel. I hope this walkthrough helps you make your Power by dashboards even more dynamic and insightful. If you found this useful, please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have questions or want to share your own techniques, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on new Power by tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching.